So I hear all the time, keep your hands inside the baseball, but what does this really mean? No one really breaks it down and tells you what it means. Obviously, you don't want to get around the ball, uh, roll over, have a long swing, but what does it mean to keep your hands inside the ball? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. But before we get into it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're interested in knowing what I think about keeping your hands inside the ball. If you don't care what I think, why are you watching this video? Go ahead and give me a thumbs down before you bounce out of here. Uh, whatever you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. And then leave me a comment down below letting me know that you subscribed and ask me any baseball questions that you've got on your mind and I'd be happy to answer you. Now, let's get back into it how to keep your hands inside the baseball. First of all, what does it mean, okay? To me, keeping your hands inside the baseball means that we're gonna stay tight, we're gonna stay connected. And I don't mean tight in the sense of tight as in like grip and, and not moving fluid. I mean tight as in close to our body. And that's basically what I mean by hands inside the ball. So when I start my swing, I don't want my hands to get disconnected from my body. I'm gonna turn and show you from this angle here so you can get a better idea. So this would not be hands inside the baseball. Even if I took this tee out of the equation for a second, this would not be hands inside the baseball because my hands, my elbow and my hands are getting away from my body already, okay? What hands inside the baseball means to me is staying tight and connected here. So you can see I'm real close to the body, I'm connected, okay? So for this drill, this uh, baseball hitting drill that we're gonna do, the hands inside the ball hitting drill, all we're gonna do is we're gonna get to that shaft to shoulder position or the uh, what I call connected in slot. And what slot is, is the elbow into this slot because the elbow wants to catch a ride on the belly, the hips as they turn, and then we disconnect them to uh, follow through the swing, okay? So every swing starts the same, no matter where the pitch is, we get connected in the slot. And then if it's an outside pitch, we can ride around with the hips and disconnect outside to hit that ball opposite field. If it's a middle pitch, we're just riding in slot, connected in slot a little bit longer. If it's an inside pitch, we're riding around even longer until we disconnect. So it's staying connected and then disconnecting where we're trying to hit that baseball. So for this drill, we're getting shaft to shoulder or connected in the slot and we're gonna take one swing where we get to that position, then come back up and then go through a full swing so we can feel our hands staying inside the baseball and not getting long, not getting around the ball because if our hands get long and around the ball, we're gonna have weak ground balls to our pull side, rollovers, just weak hits overall, okay? One thing I also want you to note is when you do get away from your body with the hands, you're a lot weaker, okay? You're a lot weaker with the bat. When you're in here tight, you've got your whole body to stay tight with, okay? So keep that shaft to the shoulder here as we get to this position real tight, and then we're gonna come back up and take a swing. So it looks a little something like this. First one is a half swing, shaft to shoulder. So there you go, there's the hands inside the ball, baseball hitting drill. Hope you guys like that. Don't forget to click the logo to subscribe. Let me know in the comments below that you did, and then go watch this video because you're gonna love it.